Pisces, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of September 11th through the 17th. This is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising Signs. So Pisces, for this reading I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck along with the Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. All right, very nice. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Seven of Wands, Pisces. So the Seven of Wands is what I call that warrior spirit. So let's see here. It can be someone, it can be a more defensive energy, definitely, but it also can be someone who is, you know, standing their ground, you know, they're not backing down, they're not quitting, they're not giving up. They're very passionate about something in their life. So this is a person that's, you know, basically ready to fight for that, uh, ready to fight for what it is that they want or what it is that they believe in. So this person is very passionate, very strong, and they are on higher ground. They do have the advantage. So maybe there's something going on within your life, Pisces, and maybe you've had to to defend yourself or defend your actions you've had to really be strong and very passionate when it comes to this and maybe some of you even having to fight for this um, but this is that very passionate energy and the reason i look at the bottom of the deck is because this is an energy that's significant right now so for some of you you're experiencing this energy while i'm filming this reading for others you know you might experience this energy this week but for some of you this is that passion, that energy that you're already experiencing um, while I'm filming this. And the overall energy for this week is actually the Empress. So you are starting something new, Pisces, no matter if you're male or female. This is that very fertile energy. This is that creative energy. You are giving birth to something new. Now, maybe for some of you with that Seven of Wands, you've had to fight for this or you've wanted this and maybe you've had to be a little defensive when it comes to this, but we see you actually in a really good place. No matter if you're male or female, this is you giving birth to something new, something that's going to be incredibly rewarding for you. Um, she's also the mother. She's very compassionate. She's very nurturing. So for you Piscean women, you might find yourself to be, you know, more nurturing, more compassionate this week. Uh, she is a very, very creative energy. So no matter if you're male or female, very, very creative energy. And, and she does represent beauty. So, I mean, there could be some Pisceans that you might be moving house. Uh, definitely, maybe you're decorating this new house. Maybe your home, your family is very significant this week. She is that very fertile energy. So if you're a Pisces woman and you've wanted to conceive, definitely give it a go this week. We are starting out though with justice. We have justice and then the ace of pentacles here. So some of you are maybe moving house definitely with justice. You could be signing that contract or signing that lease. Here with the Ace of Pentacles, a solid new beginning. So definitely can be a new home for some of you. For other Pisces, it might be a new job. Also, this could be like a legal settlement that's coming in for some of you. If you've had like a legal matter that's ongoing here, this could be that payout, that lump sum of money that's coming in for you. And I definitely see financially many of you in a good place. And generally speaking, the Empress does represent abundance. Abundance in many forms. Um, but abundance and we have the ten of pentacles here. So for some of you it is prosperity. It is financial abundance You're in a really good place Just feeling quite abundant this week. Maybe with with friends as well family You know within the home the home environment Some of you are definitely maybe moving house with the ten of pentacles and the chariot and then this this Ace of Pentacles and Justice. Maybe you just bought a new home or you're signing that lease. This could be you traveling to that new home. For other Pisceans, you could be traveling to see family. Family could be, again, very significant this week. The Ten of Pentacles represents, obviously, that financial abundance, that security, that success, um, especially when it's sitting with the Chariot, which is the ultimate victory card. But it also talks about inheritances, assets, real estate, 
Um, some of you, maybe you've had like a legal battle with family over an inheritance or something like that with that seven of wands here. You've had to really, you know, not back down and be strong here. And, and with the, the chariot, this is the ultimate victory card. And also with justice, this could be uh, a legal decision. It could be karmic justice that's coming in. This is things balancing out and things being made right or fair for all parties. So if you were a Pisces that had something done to you, this could be things now balancing out for you guys. We have new beginnings. We have new beginnings that are coming in. Maybe some of you actually have a decision that you need to make here with the chariot. You know, Sometimes the chariot can represent you being able to move in two different directions here. So some of you this week, you're maybe figuring out the direction or the path that you want to move down. With the nine of, of wands, I think that some of you, it's been a process. With that seven of wands at the bottom of the deck and the nine of wands here, I think it's been a process. Some of you just feel you know, beat up. You've been through the, the ringer here. This is someone who's tired. This is someone who's physically tired, exhausted. You know, they've been through a great deal. Um, so some of you, if it is a legal battle, you've had to maybe battle it out. You're exhausted, but um, this is showing me that you stood your ground. You, This is you persevering here with the Nine of Wands, not giving up, even though some of you feeling tired, exhausted, just worn out. But here, just staying strong here, staying strong. With the Hermit... The Hermit represents the sign of Virgo, so there could be a Virgo, there could be a Cancer, there could be a Libra, definitely, um, that's significant. Maybe this is your significant other, maybe this is a family member, that's very significant here. With the Hermit, it even could be an attorney for some of you, maybe you've been waiting on your attorney. Uh, here, this, this is definitely that enlightenment coming in for many of you. I think that you've been waiting on this enlightenment, waiting on this news, this information that allows for you to move forward. And for many of you, it's coming in this week. For others, it could be coming in at the end of the week or even the following week here. But that news, that enlightenment is coming in. It's on its way. And it will happen very suddenly with the Knight of Wands energy. For some of you, this is the energy shifting. Things are starting to happen. There could be news that's coming in. Some of you might have to travel this week to maybe find something out. And it's something connected to the past with the Six of Cups here. Can be your children, something related to your children for some of you, but for other Pisceans, this is something connected to the past. This could be some closure that's coming in waiting on someone or something from the past and that information that enlightenment is definitely coming in for you and when it happens i think it'll happen very suddenly and this is the energy shifting for you things are starting to happen this is some amazing energy to work with um, when it comes to this matter no, no matter how you resonate with this with this reading when it comes to this matter this is some very creative energy here so this could benefit you getting creative when it comes to this but let's pull you an additional guidance card additional guidance for pisces for other pisces it might have something to do with the relationship absolutely And you could be waiting on a person, waiting on getting back together with someone, waiting to reconcile for some of you. Um, but that news, that information is on its way. Okay, so there is the children card. So for some of you, it's children definitely that are significant. Now, maybe your children are traveling to see you. If they're older, you could be traveling to see your children. It doesn't matter the age, but your children could be very significant this week. For other Pisceans, pregnancy, definitely. Pregnancy is, is in the air for some of you. Um, this is that very fertile energy, and I think the children card is confirming that some of you are maybe going to have children or you're going to have a child. For those of you that have wanted to start a family, I mean, this is the week to give it a go, definitely. There also could be some Pisceans that... You know, maybe you've already conceived, but this is the week that you're actually finding out about it. Or some of you even giving birth, and you could be taking the baby home from the hospital this week. 
Um, so this is very, very positive for other Piscians. Um, your children, family could be very, very significant this week. So excellent reading, Pisces. I'm really happy to see this. Um, you have a wonderful spread. I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please check out northeasttarot.com. I do wish you all a wonderful week. Take care.